Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.14.1. This week's update is quite possibly, okay, not quite possibly, this is the most hyped update of all time. This, this adds not only one, but two things that the Unturned community has been asking for or dreaming of for the longest amount of time. You guys guessed it, airplanes and helicopters both of them in this update we have the sandpiper over here a single prop fixed wing aircraft right here very nice the sky crane a nice one-seater cargo helicopter very nice and then the huey based off the uh-10 like iroquois or whatever you want to call that thing nice military style helicopter with an interior and allows you to be in the pilot passenger and side seats and if you're in the side seats you can equip your weapon and be like a chopper gunner you can have like a nike rev and you can be shooting at all the people while your pilot buddy over there is flying you around oh it is so awesome this is something that i think all of us are really excited for this is like the most insane update of all time and i can't wait to show you guys everything that was added now starting with the aircraft i'm sure you guys are most hyped for this uh let's start with the airplanes in regards to the controls how to fly the thing uh useful information now these spawn at airports of course there's also on the washington map i'm on pei right now uh, a new miniature airport that spawns over by shelton farm back behind the little wheat field or corn field or whatever that is uh, just a small little airport uh, and that is also where you can find the sandpiper and the helicopter spawns can be found at the military bases on the helipads now when they do spawn they spawn with very little fuel I think five is the maximum amount of fuel that spawns in these things so you are not gonna be able to fly this to your base once you find it you're gonna need to fuel it up first luckily they do spawn by like fuel tanks and stuff like that but these are high maintenance vehicles it'd be kind of unbalanced if you can just find an airplane and be the first person to find it grab it and go now these airplanes in terms of steel and stuff like that is controlled with WASD and your mouse and the mouse is in charge of tilting up and down and left and right and ask yourself if you want to go up do you want to move your mouse up or down now in my instance flying an airplane I want to push the mouse down to go up so if that is the case before you take off and try to push the mouse down to take off up and then end up crashing into like an airplane or whatever uh, go into controls and turn on invert flight from there you're good to go you can enter in the airplane w is in charge of throttle forward and s is in charge of throttle backward now when you're actually flying it's just throttle down you're not gonna be able to fly backwards but when you're on the ground can go in reverse and stuff like that immediately you might be wondering why you can't look left and right uh, that's because airplanes are controlled with your mouse so y if you look around then it would be yeah anyway so get up to speed it requires quite a bit of runway to get going and then push down on your mouse if you have it inverted to start flying up now get up into a nice general area where you're not going to hit anything and then you can start to learn how to fly the airplane itself a and D is in charge of your rear rudder, so that's that thing right there. If you press D, it'll begin to turn the airplane left and right without actually tilting the thing and eventually like going upside down, crashing and stuff like that. When you are flying the airplane, be very gentle with your mouse. If you're very crazy, it's very easy to, uh, to fly upside down. That's especially more important when you're flying a helicopter, so get used to that. Moving your mouse up and down is in charge of tilting the airplane up and down, and left and right allows you to do some barrel rolls, so if you constantly start turning left, we can do a barrel roll. Now the only thing really difficult about flying an airplane or a helicopter is just learning the controls in the first place. After you get used to the controls, flying the airplane itself actually isn't all that difficult. Be careful if you're doing this on a PvP server, because a quick half magazine of a maple strike into your airplane uh, is not gonna end well for you. Alright, we're coming on down to 50% fuel, so I think it's about time to bring this baby in for a landing. So there are two ways that you can do this. You can line up with the runway, lower down on your throttle, make sure you line everything up well, make sure you're going in a straight line, make sure there's no uh, things that, are cra that you might crash into when you're going to land the thing, or you can just press F and get out. In regards to the helicopter, these are a little bit more difficult to master. Just for safety speak, don't touch the mouse or A and D. We're just going to press W, we're going to get off the ground and up in the sky. So keep holding W, it's going to take a little bit for the thing to start flying up. 
and just don't touch anything, all right? Once we get super high up in the sky and we don't have to worry about hitting anything, that's when we can mess around with the mouse and A and D and S and all that stuff. All right, so we're pretty high up in the sky now. Now we can begin to mess around with some of the things and teach you what all the controls do. A and D is in charge of that little propeller in the back. So when you press A, it will turn your helicopter to the left, or when you press D, it'll turn it to the right. S is throttled down, that's what will allow you to start falling down and landing your helicopter eventually, and W is what allows you to take off, obviously. Mouse is in charge of tilting, so this is what allows you to go forward and from place to place. Do not start tilting left and right when you want to turn left and right. Just be very gentle. If you want to go over in a single straight line, tilt your helicopter forward just a little bit, and then begin using A and D to start turning. Only move the mouse left and right to stabilize the helicopter and make sure it's flat. If you aren't stabilizing it and you're constantly turning, eventually uh, this will happen. And luckily, since we flew very high up in the sky, I was able to recover from it. Now what's nice about the Huey compared to the Sky Crane is that it can have up to four people in the helicopter at the same time. You can have somebody in the passenger seat who can also shoot around, although it doesn't have a very good view, but then you can also have people in the side windows who can shoot out like so, be a chopper gunner, and it's so much fun. Especially, like, I, I've, I've messed around a little bit on PvP servers and on arena mode and stuff like that, and it's so much fun to, uh, to fly the helicopter around and shoot out the side. And also, as you can see, it's a lot easier to land the thing by just getting out. Though I would imagine that might be fixed in the future, so don't rely on that. You might actually want to practice your landing skills. This probably wasn't the best place to land, so let's go actually land it over by the sky crane. Screw this, I'm getting out, dude. Yeah, that's fine right there. Be careful about the blades, though. I just almost turned myself into minced meat. Now the Sky Crane, it's the same thing. I mean, it's a helicopter, it goes up and down, except this one only has one seat. And you might think it might be able to pick up things, but right now, it can't do anything. So this is just kind of an entry level, not as good as that one helicopter. And there you have it, that's all the aircraft that was added in on turn 3.14.1. Next up, there's still some things that we wanna go over. There have been these little triangles added. These are uh, in addition to the makeshift things that we've had before, and these allow you to make triangle creations. Right off the top of my head, I think it would be useful for making a roof, but with the creations that I've seen the community make, uh, I think mostly it's just gonna allow you to make more complex creations and angled stuff uh, in your creations. That pretty much wraps up everything that was added in-game. There are also some awesome tweaks outside of the game. First off, arena victories are now being tracked worldwide, only 24. This update just came out. And also there's an achievement for winning three arena matches. In the inventory, particularly useful for myself, having 31 pages of stuff, you can now search. Finally, you can now search. So if I want my glitched aviators, I type in glitched, search, and I've got my glitched pilot aviators. It's so much easier than having to go through each and every single page, and it's just a pain in the butt. Also, the man who gave me all my banana shirts, I just want to give you a massive thank you for giving me three full pages of banana shirts. Also, finally, to combat the obnoxious people in the lobbies of those arena matches, you can now turn off different aspects of voice. If you go into options, you can turn off inbound text chat. You won't receive any sort of messages in that text chat up there when you're in game. Inbound voice chat, you won't be able to hear anybody talk to you. Outbound voice chat, you won't be able to talk to anyone. And then also more specifically, if you go into an actual server, you can mute the players by just clicking mute right next to their name. Also, there's groups and teams that were added to arena mode. So if you are in the same group with a friend, the server will consider your group as a single player. So if you are the last member alive, your group wins and your entire group gets experience as if they specifically won. If you and your friend are the last people alive, it says, yay, you won and you guys both win. Additionally, in regards to experience, every time you win a game, I do believe you get 125 experience. If you lose or die, you get 25 experience and skills are saved. I'm very excited for that. I'm just so tired of only being able to run for like five feet before you run out of stamina. Additionally, and this like came out of nowhere, a new arena map, PI Arena. It takes the entire PI map and turns it into an arena map, the biggest one we've had so far. It's got vehicles and everything. 
including helicopters and airplanes, and it creates just a less frantic arena mode like you do in Alpha Valley or Monolith being small maps. I don't want to make this update video too long, but maybe I'll make an arena gameplay of this map in the future. And the last small tweaks that were added, you can now change the color of your red dot site or halo site or whatever site you're using by changing your crit color. So mine has been orange for quite a while, so as you can see my red dot site is now an orange dot site. But if I go into options, maybe change it to a nice blue or something, yeah I think that looks good, then re-equip your weapon, you now have a blue dot site. And I think that, that actually looks really good, I might, I might keep that. And then lastly, making maple pillars requires less logs. Before it took three, and now it only takes two, so making bases is going to be a little bit easier now. I like that a lot. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything that was added in Unturned 3.14.1, airplanes and helicopters and new arena map, item search bars and inventories, muting players, oh my gosh. One of the greatest updates we've ever gotten in Unturned. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I did miss a few minor little tweaks and fixes, but if you guys would like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.